Well, the last week I was showing um, updates for the leader MLS project. That is uh, a way to upload properties on a high level website, to being able to search uh, properties, save properties. And this is the update that I have for you now. Uh, this is a high level website, as you can see here. And the software is installed by using um, a small script like this one, quick search widget. And when you visit the website, this is the widget that is going to be generated. And also for a carousel of properties. And you can uh, click on them or start searching uh, your properties. For example, I'm going to look for properties on California. And let's see. So here we have a page of results in a high level website. Uh, this is something to, that we are very excited about. As you can see, you, you have filters, uh, price filters, bets, bats, and property types. And you can uh, start looking for other properties. Uh, right now, um, if you select, uh, uh, if you search for listings that doesn't have results, it's not going to show you. It's, on, it's only going to show those cities where, where you have properties. That is uh, intended for always have results. I will always have um, listings. So I want to show you also that you, you can um, save a property. So let's see, I want to save this property and I need to register. Uh, I can create a new account or I can sign in uh, using uh, an already created account. And right now I have uh, this property saved. And this is my, my account, this is my profile. So this is the update that we have for you. Uh, you can upload properties, you can uh, search properties, you will have uh, widgets like this one. You can uh, also save properties and start showing your listings right here without needing uh, a subscription for any IDX provider. This is a, a, a software that you can offer to your clients. Uh, you can create uh, any sub accounts in, in, in the websites that you want to have this, this software. And we are excited about these updates and wanted to, to show you. Thank you, Carlos. So, so let me ask you a question, Carlos, just uh, for folks that are watching this. So here at Realty Candy, we've been focusing for the last 12 or 13 years on providing IDX and IDX broker services and stuff. So what you're saying is with this, this is for properties that are not on the MLS. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So some, what, are, what are some use cases for, for folks that would want something like this? Well, for example, if you are in an area where you don't have any MLS feed, okay. you are on a, any country that doesn't have cover by, by any IDX provider, you can use this software to provide a quick and easy way to upload properties and search. Okay. And do you think this would work for, um, besides those scenarios, what about like property investors? Is that something that would work for them, do you think, or not so much? That's right. That's one of the main resource, reasons we are uh, working on this because it's a, we can use it for properties that investors can sell or, or buy. And and you mentioned that this works on a high level. So does this only work on high level? What if what if we have like a WordPress site or we're using something else? It it will also work because we are using a custom H HTML, custom JavaScript. So any CMS that supports custom HTML is going to support this uh, software. And it's all it's it's most of the CMS. WordPress, okay. Wix. Any of them can, we can install. That's awesome. 
Hey, we really appreciate you sharing that with us, Carlos. Thank you so much.